Oh my gosh. It's just fantastic. Hey y'all, Joe Fernandez here. Today I'm going to show you how to bake my bean and pepper soup. Some items that you're going to need is going to be a large pot. I prefer this stainless steel pot that I got from Ikea years ago. Pretty sure they still sell these. And you're going to need a cutting board and a knife. First thing I'm gonna do is peel and dice some onions. These onions are strong. My eyes are starting to water already. All right. I don't know if you can see how my eyes are watering, but. <laughs> it's just so beautiful. So the next thing I'm gonna do is rinse, clean, and chop up these carrots. I usually chop them into chunks about this size. They'll soften up and cook down as the soup boils. So I don't know about y'all, but I love a good soup. Soups are just awesome. Good soups and good chilies. Really easy to meal prep with these. You can make a whole lot. You can freeze some, keep it refrigerated. It'll keep for, for days. It's a, just a real good, cheap, easy, quick meal. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is clean and chop up the celery. So now we are going to chop some garlic. So what we want is at least at least six or seven good sized cloves of garlic. And I like to work clean too, people. It's uh, you know, not a professional chef, but nothing worse than a dirty kitchen. I worked in some as a line cook when I was younger. And every now and then we get people on the line that were just, you know, slobs. And I find if you clean as you go, it just makes everything so much smoother. All right. uh, we're going to start peeling some garlics. And some of you may be wondering why even go through this, why not just buy already peeled garlic? Well, I can tell a difference. I think the already peeled garlic is not quite as fresh. I don't know how they peel it. I imagine it's some sort of mechanical process. They might even put chemicals on it to loosen up the, the leaves and stuff. I mean, who knows? So I would rather just, uh, just buy whole garlic bulbs and spend a couple of minutes to do it myself. Oh. 
So if you stay with me this long, please consider hitting that subscribe button. This is a new channel. Um, you know, I'm just documenting things that I would be doing anyway. So I figure why not? I get questions. And I am very passionate about cooking and actually a lot of different hobbies. And I'm trying to share that with y'all. All right, y'all, so now it's time to start cooking. Um, the first thing I'm gonna do is get the carrots started since it takes a long time to soften them up. So I'm gonna get them started first. I'm gonna let them simmer in water for a little bit, a little bit of water. Um, I don't really cook with oils. I'm trying to be a little bit healthier right now. So uh, I'm, I'm using water. So let's turn this thing on. I'm gonna put it, start it out on high just so it'll heat up. But once it actually starts getting warm, I'm gonna take it down quite a bit, probably to medium, five, five or six. Uh, make sure I got the big burner on. There we go. And while that's heating up, I'm gonna take this time to open up my cans of beans right here and drain them and rinse them and the corn too. Stay tuned for that. If you're wondering what that noise is in the background, that's my dog, Dexter. He decided to come get something to drink. What's up, buddy? Hey, big man. Say hey there, buddy. Dex. What's up, man? You wanna say hey there, buddy? These are all the people watching Cooking with Joe. <laughs> I know, buddy. Well, he said I'll let me cook right now. Let me pet him for a little bit and I'll be back. All right, so I got all the beans in here. I'm just kind of rinsing them off until, until the water comes out clear. Looks pretty clear to me. All right, set that aside and go back to the cooking. All right, so the carrots started boiling. So I took them down to medium at five and we'll just let those simmer for a little bit. You always wanna start your carrots first just because otherwise they'll still be real hard and crunchy at the end if you don't. So we'll give these a couple minutes and then I'll start adding another thing. It's been a minute or two now. The uh, carrots are starting to soften up a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in the garlic. Give it lots of time. Just simmer and meld, get the aromas going. I'll put the garlic in, let that simmer for about 30 seconds and then I'll add the onions. And I'll cook the onions until they are become a little translucent. Go ahead and mix that in real well. At this point, I'm gonna go ahead and add the celery. So now we got the onions, the carrots, the garlic, some seasoning, and the celery. Just kind of melding and softening up a little bit. The next steps is gonna to be to add 
the crushed tomatoes, and the vegetable broth. Let that get going. And then we'll add our beans. And then when we're within the final 15 minutes or so of cooking, I'll add my peppers. All right. So now everything's starting to get a little soft. And it's time to add the other ingredients. So I'm gonna start out by adding the crushed tomatoes. And then I'm gonna add the veggie broth. I'm gonna be adding this ham bone to my soup as well. If you guys ever cook hams, be sure you keep the bone. They made, they're great for soups. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put my ham bone in there so that that can start warming up. Once that starts to get to a boil, I'll bring the heat back down again and then I'll add the beans and then the peppers. Can't wait. All right, y'all, now it's time to chop up the peppers. I highly recommend always wearing latex gloves whenever you're touching hot peppers. Because you never know, you might forget later, rub your eyes or something and uh, it's, not, it's not fun. Believe me, I know. All right, I'm gonna remove the little green caps. Mm. Okay. I'm just going to kind of remove the ends on my two cay four cay ends. And I'm not trying to make this soup nuclear. I'm just trying to give it a cut a kick. I'm going for flavor over heat. So I'm going to start with just four cay ends, one scotch bonnet, and a couple of these mild jalapenos. This is a pretty large soup. That sounds like a lot, but it, it's really not. And if you've watched some of my pepper gardening videos, you've seen how I grow and take care of these cayennes right on my patio. These jalapenos are so big. Probably do them this way. Oh yeah, these things smell so good. Really getting that fragrance. Good stuff. And for some of you chili heads that keep up with things like Scoville units, I'll post all of that in the description. So I'm gonna try and this pepper's a little squat. Oh man, that smells good. It's very fruity. But you can also really get the heat. Good stuff. All right. And these are our peppers. So I'm gonna add these. If at the end of this, it's still not hot enough, then um, I can always add more. So it, it's, it's, it's always easier really with anything in cooking to add later than it is to remove. So it's been about 10 minutes since we first put the ham bone in the soup and it, we finally, it's starting to boil. So at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and add the beans. 
right, so I'm gonna start slowly putting the beans in. Don't just dump them in, you might splash and hurt yourself. Remember, safety first, folks. So now I'll try to mix that in real good. This pot is almost too small. It might actually even be too small. We'll see once it starts boiling. Hopefully I don't make a mess. All right, y'all, it's starting to boil. Let's try to mix this up a little bit. It's that ham bone and all its beauty. Just hanging out in there with this bad saw. So I think we'll go ahead and add the peppers. Oh yeah. Woohoo! Man, I wish y'all could smell that. Man, that is a beautiful thing. those bad boys in and just let them do this thing okay so at this point I'm gonna let them simmer and I'll check them again in about 25 minutes see you then Right, this is just boiling away. It's been about uh, 17 minutes at this point. So, uh, yeah, this is rolling. I'm gonna kick it down a little bit more. Um, at this stage, I'm actually at uh, medium. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. Woo! Man, that ham bone. Add so much to this. So, and again, guys, uh, there's no rules, man. I mean, if you don't have all the stuff for the ingredients, I know depending on where you live, you may not have access to Scotch bonnets. You may not have it just a ham bone laying around. I mean, it's no big deal. You can supplement, do do whatever you want. You may find something else to throw in there that actually turns out better. Like I said earlier, I, I usually don't run with recipes. I just have like a base. I have an idea of what main ingredients I'm gonna put in. And then I just, uh, just kind of wing it. Do whatever I feel like. And it usually turns out pretty well. I mean, I, I use try to use all my senses, but particularly smell and of course taste because we're dealing with food. But also sight. I mean, I think food is, needs to look good as well, but once it smells and tastes right, that's when you know that you have the right amount of ingredients in there. All right, I'm gonna give this bad boy a few more minutes and then... Uh... Okay, y'all, so it's been the time. Um, one way that I always tell with these soups, though, is I like to try a piece of the vegetables that tends to take a while. Like, I'll, I'll try a little piece that has some of the uh, carrot and maybe a couple of the other things, a piece of celery and some pepper. And that's what I've got right here, if I can show this. Yep, so I pulled a little bit out just so it could cool off a little bit. As you can see, we're still got a rolling boil. Oh man, that's good. That's really good. Um, the carrot's still a little bit crunchy though. So um, I'm gonna give it another five minutes. And it's not, um, 
it's not quite as hot as I like it. So I think I'm gonna add, what am I gonna add? I think I'm gonna add another, another cayenne or two just to kind of beef it up just a little bit. I mean, there's some spice, it's there, there's heat. Depends on what your tolerance is. I mean, some people tell me that I have a high tolerance. I, I don't really think so though. I mean, whenever I try super, super hot peppers like the Ghost and Carolina Reapers, it's, uh, you know, those things are, are not fun. But uh, but if you have a, a medium tolerance for heat, then, uh, um, you know, I know initially we put four cayennes in here, maybe um, go for six or, or eight. Or you know what, or add a second scotch bonnet. You know what, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna add another scotch bonnet. See you on the flip side. All right, y'all. So I chopped up another scotch bonnet and now we're gonna add this to the, to the soup. Oh yeah, so that should make it about perfect. And I'm gonna add five more minutes. And hopefully the carrots will be nice and soft. So it's been about, um, it's actually been about 35, 35 minutes now. And um, hopefully we're about where it should be. So let's give it a shot. That's it. All right, so I'm gonna take it off the heat and uh, I'm gonna enjoy some of this fantastic soup. Stay tuned. Soup's finally finished. Smells fantastic, tastes fantastic. Oh my gosh, looks fantastic. Man, I just wish I could somehow share this with you through the video. But, um, so now I'm gonna get into the, uh, I guess the meal prep packaging uh, stage of this video. Um, I like to use these uh, 16 ounce cups. I'll put a link to the exact ones that I use all the time. Um, they make them a little bit bigger than this too, but I find the uh, 16 ounce are, are great. Um, they're BPA free. They're just like the cups you would get for Chinese takeout. Um, they're good, you, they're dishwasher safe and freezable. So, you know, perfect, perfect for me. You know, I like to cook, but I don't like to cook a lot, like often. I like to cook big and freeze it, store it, meal prep it, so that on the days when I don't feel like cooking, I can just pull it out and pop it in the microwave and have an instant meal. So, uh, all right, I'm gonna show you how I package this. And just so you know, these cups hold about, this is a one cup measuring cup. So uh, they hold about one and three quarters cups of, of this soup. Alrighty, and that is a wrap. So it looks like we got three, six, nine, 12, 15, 15 containers, which uh, we'll say 14, because I'm about to eat one of these. So 14 containers, which is spot on. It's exactly what I was shooting for. So uh, I'm excited. Let's try this stuff. What? Oh my gosh, this is just fantastic. Man, flavors just completely meld together. It's got the right amount of heat. I mean, it's not crazy hot. It's definitely there, my mouth is burning, but holy crap, it's a good burn. I still have all the flavors, it's not overbearing. It's very well balanced. And when I look for a soup, 
That's exactly what I'm looking for. Please hit that like and subscribe button and I'll see you next time.